Welcome to our latest edition of Council Outcomes, where we discuss some of the decisions made by Council and how they impact on you and the community. The City will now provide public notice and commence the lawmaking process for its Holiday Homes Amendment Local Law 2022. Amendments made to the law will regulate the registration and management of holiday homes within the district. Funding towards several events through the 2022-23 and 2024-25 events and marketing budgets were endorsed. With a massive lineup, there is something for everyone. In the mix is Buston Jetty Swim, Raising the Vibe, Fine Vines Festival, Dunsborough Arts Festival, Southwest Craft Beer Festival, and Business Excellent Awards, to name a few. The City's Economic Development Strategy 2022-27 was endorsed as a guide, noting the implementation plan as an operational working document. Councillors Henley, Carter, Richards and Love were nominated as councillor members to the Economic Development Advisory Group. One petition signed by 70 people relating to traffic treatments along Geograph Bay Road, Dunsborough was received by Council. A traffic count will be undertaken in the area to determine the volume of traffic. Once the new data is collected, it will be reviewed to determine the extent of non-compliance and any other enforceable trends and, where appropriate, referred to WA Police for assistance. With the aim of saving lives and reducing serious injuries on our roads, the City will partner with the RAC and Shire of Augusta Margaret River to conduct a holistic and coordinated review of road speeds within the region. RAC contributing 500000 toward the review to be held in trust for associated project costs. Subject to consent from the Minister for Lands, the excision of lot 505 between Bayanyup River Drain and Northerly Street Vass was approved to enter into a lease with Vass Community Gardens Inc to establish a community garden. Also subject to terms and conditions and the consent from the Minister of Lands, the City will enter into a lease with the South West Aboriginal Medical Service Aboriginal Corporation for the occupation of Camp Site 7 at the Lock Estate on Caves Road Siesta Park. The Lock Estate consists of 16 campsites. 14 of the campsites are currently leased and operated by various not-for-profit organisations. The City will enter into a multi-year funding agreement for $88,096 with the Buston Senior Citizen Centre, a reduction in the Centre's Building Maintenance Fund for the 2022-23 and 2023-24 financial year has also been agreed upon. The City and Cable Sands Proprietary Limited will enter into a contract of sale for acquiring Lot 100 Sues Road, Yo Yellup for community purposes. Visit the City's website to view the minutes in full www.busselton.wa.gov.au